As you read on in Luke here, the second chapter in verse 25, it says there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout. And I like this next phrase. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. And in this waiting, look what it says, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. It says it was revealed to this man, Simeon, by the Holy Ghost, that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. That's some heavy-duty uh, guidance, isn't it? How many of you would like to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit that clearly? I don't want to get off track, but you know, we've been sharing for a long time now that if we're going to be truthful ourselves, Huge percentages of what we've said God has said to us was the voice of self. And we've tried to give credibility to, well, I've been in prayer, and in prayer I sensed this. I sensed my glory instead of God's. My ease instead of a cross. As we step back and begin to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, and, and we'll look at that hopefully in the study too. How, what is the Spirit of God saying to us? I've had people come to me recently and say, you know, I believe God said to me thus and so. And I said, that wasn't God. What do you mean it isn't God? If God was talking to you, He'd be talking about your pride. He'd be talking about your selfishness. There's more that God has to say to you than about what house to buy. Or what car to buy? Or what's wrong with somebody else? Or what rights I have? And we need to understand what the voice of God is about. And we need to thank God, beloved, that we are not as the pagans. You know, when you read, I love this one phrase in Corinthians. He says, we do not serve dumb idols. Amen? Amen? doesn't mean stupid. It means dumb in that they can't. Our God speaks to us. Amen? Amen? The voice of the Spirit of God is constantly speaking to us. I mean absolutely. He is speaking to us at every moment our hearts are pure and ready to receive. Some of you are saying, I haven't heard the voice of God. You, you don't have the environment set. The receiver's turned off. You're too busy looking up the next thing that's going on in the news media or the ball game or, or what the stock market's doing. And God's on His side trying to speak to you and it's too noisy. Be still and know that I'm God. Get away from all of the noise of this world system. Put to rest your ambition and your lusts and see if you don't hear from the voice of God. He hasn't changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a God who is there, and He is not silent, as Francis Schaeffer said. 